Hello YouTube, this is Semi Domesticated Owl, and I'm coming to you from my dining room table this week. I'm going to be showing you my holiday binder. So let's go ahead and get started. As you see, it's in a plain black binder that I got from Walmart. I picked this up for $3 when I was working on my binder system at the beginning of last year. So I didn't get to use this for the holidays last year, and um, I'm using it for this year. So let's go ahead and start with the cover in the back. It's the type of binder that you could slip stuff in, the front and back cover. So I just have a piece of Christmas scrapbooking paper on the front and on the back. And then I have a little sticker that says holidays that I got from my label maker, or sorry, a label that says holidays on it to differentiate between my binders. So let's go ahead and start in the inside. The first thing you see when you open it up is some clippings I got from some magazines and some catalogs. It's um, This is where I kind of keep gift inf information that I want to use for the next year. And then I went ahead and printed this out after the holidays. And this is the kind the to do do list that I used last year for this year and I kind of broke it down in weeks because I didn't know when I was going to be starting it and it's all the stuff I have to do to prep for Christmas like for example calling my mom and my sister and discussing the plans for Thanksgiving and for Christmas um, things like the holiday budget and the gift list and then like preparing for Christmas cards and um, Christmas shopping and the wrapping, etc. And of course, this is not working for this year as it goes. I am working a lot more hours at work, so I am not following it exactly, but it is still helping out when I do have time to work on stuff like this. Then the next thing is a holiday budget broken down by things like gifts decorations, and entertainment. And I got this from organizedchristmas.com. They have a bunch of great principles. And then it goes into the next section, which is cards. And I got these dividers from a notebook I had. They were a little bit more heavy duty. So I thought this would, it would be perfect for this binder since it has to hold labels and gift tags. And, um, and the card section, I have, I have lab everything labeled, of course. Um, this divider holds holiday seals for the back, for the envelopes and the label, the Avery labels I use to print out my addresses. So, um, and it just holds it very nicely. Now, I don't have something in here that I usually have because I wanted to protect the privacy of my family and friends, but um, it's all the addresses I have. And what I did last year was, you know that when you have to print the addresses on a plain piece of computer paper instead of the labels at first, just to make sure they fit into the um, paper that has the labels on it, I kept that just so I have the addresses again for this year and I could write on that plain piece of computer paper in case anybody's address has changed throughout the year or um, when I send out my annual Facebook message to all my friends and family asking for their updated address, I could just go ahead and write on that instead of ruining labels or having a bunch of pieces of paper with random addresses on it. So that helps. And then I also have this Christmas card planner from pinch a little, save a lot, dot blog, stop, stop, blogspot.com. I didn't use this this year, but I might use it next year. And then what I did was I went ahead and saved a card from last year because I wanted to know what we sent out to everybody. And I'll probably save one from this year, too. We, we do not have um, photo cards this year. We have regular cards. And on the back, I went ahead and put the year. I'm sorry. And then in the next 
page protector, which I use a lot of these in this book, I put the cards that we received. And this is um, the next section, which is cookies. And I just have labels that I put on treat bags in this divider. And I put tags right here, and then I labeled it cookies. And this just holds my ho annual holiday cookie recipes that I use basically every year, just like um, Kris Kringle's sugar cookies. Uh, these are a couple ones I tried last year, Bugle Bites and peanut butter reindeer cookies. And then one of our annual favorites is mint chocolate chip cookies. And I'm going to add more this year. Um, I might not be making cookies this year, though, so we'll see. And then the next section would be for gifts. Um, this is where I hold all my gift tags. And of course, it is labeled. And I have a page protector here for my gift list. Um, this was supposed to be last year's gift list, but of course I removed it just because I, for the privacy of my family and friends. So um, what I did this year is I actually made another gift list on my computer that includes the person's name, the gifts, how much I budgeted for, how much I'm actually spending, etc. Just so on the computer I could actually um, change my mind, you know, I could change the gift or um, the price or anything. I could just add it. It's really easy. And then I'll just print it out at, after Christmas and put it in here. So next year I know how much I, I spent and what I bought for everybody so I don't repeat next year. And then I included this binder pocket and I got this from Staples. It just has a Velcro closure right here and snaps in the binder really easily. And this is just for the receipts that I get from Christmas shopping. And of course, it's not filled up yet because I haven't gone Christmas shopping. Shocker, I know. Now the next section is for the parties. And of course it's labeled. And it has a couple of principles. I'm not sure where I got this one, but if I do find it, I will link it below. And this is another holiday party plant planner and this one is from organizedchristmas.com I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use but I have to start writing on these soon because Christmas Eve is at my house this year and then the next section is Thanksgiving if you can see the label and on the front on the divider part I just put the recipes I wanted to try for Thanksgiving if I had it at my house, but I didn't this year. So this, I didn't get to use this section. And this just has a Thanksgiving menu. And it's just broken down by course, who's bringing it in the, a shopping list. And I got this again from pinch a little save a lot dot blogspot dot com. And then it has a Thanksgiving dinner budget. As you see, it's has columns for the food, the budget, what the actual cost was, the running total. And down here it just has beverages. And again, this is from pinch a little save a lot dot com. And there you have it. That's the end of my holiday binder. As you see, it's not as intense as some others that you might have seen on YouTube this year, but it does work for me and my family and it really does help out especially since I've been working tons so everything is it's just nice to have everything organized in one binder as I said before I made this last year it didn't cost that much I think I was I already had everything besides the binder so I just printed out a couple principles that I found on the internet that I liked and went ahead and put it together it took about 10 minutes it's very easy and it just holds everything that might might get lost in the boxes for my holiday holiday decorations like gift tags and holiday seals and etc and it just gives me a place to go throughout the year if I want to add something for the holidays or um, if I just want to look something up of course I have a Pinterest board 
on the website called um, Gifts that I like to get, give, and it's a secret board, so my family and friends can't see it. And I go ahead and put a lot more gift inspiration on that board. And I also have a Christmas cookies one and a basic holiday one that I keep other inspiration on. So that helps out as well. So I hope you guys got some great ideas for this holiday. And um, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.